and welcome to another edition of Breeding to Win as we continue to focus on the up and coming CTSK Premier Yearling Sale, which takes place on Sunday, the 14th of March, at the De Grendel Wine Estate. Main Chance Farms is one of South Africa's leading stud farms and has been a top 10 breeder over 20 years. Justin Pomark, their racing manager, tells us what we can look forward to at the up and coming sale. Main Chance Farm have a super draft going to the Cape Premier Yearling Sale in a couple of weeks time and Justin Vermark's here with me this morning to just have a chat about some of the draft. It's quite a large draft so we're not going to go through them all but Justin, smashing draft. Yes V, thank you very much. We have 18 horses going through to CTS uh, Premier Sale. Uh, we always have a good draft going and a higher volume of horses and uh, this year is no different. Obviously been a little bit of a delay which I think has done the horses very well. So very excited to get down to De Grendel for the inaugural De Grendel Cape Premier Yearling Sale. It's going to be great fun and um, hope, hopefully the market holds up. I think so. A lot of excitancy about quite a jam-packed sales uh, program this year and um, we're very happy with what we've produced. You're certainly uh, representing some really good stallions in the draft as well. Yeah, we've got a nice mix. Um, obviously, you know, around this crop is when Silvano's numbers started getting limited a little bit and um, we, he's, he's not as represented in numbers as he usually is. I think he's only got four on the sale, of which we're taking three of them through. So we've got three Silvanos on the draft, but very excited for our, our very first erupts. And uh, we've got a couple Pomodoros, Vercingetrix, Kirari, a, a mixed bag as well. So we've got a vast um, array of stallions and uh, obviously the, the female lines, our premier female lines from the farm. So we're very happy with our mix of horses. Yeah, some of these stallions are doing really well and, and you've got a William Longsword as well who had his first winner the other day. Yeah, we've got a William Longsword that we're excited about. We've, we've We've used him. Um, we've got a lot of Pomodoros. Obviously, uh, we carry a lot of Silvano mares at our farm, um, and being obviously standing him and his son versus Getrix, we need a bit of an outcross. Jetmaster Silvano Nick has worked spectacularly well, and I think Pomodoro is one of those horses who who didn't cover the Cape's best mares in the beginning, but despite that, he really produced some proper horses. Uh, return flight, he's just had a Guineas winner, Russian Rock. Uh, he's very strong in indicators I like to look at, like horses rated 90 and above. And I think when you maybe haven't covered the absolute cream of the crop of mares, you'll look at those indicators and see stallions that are outperforming their, their expected performance, and he is one of them. So we sent him a bunch of mares, I think we have three on this draft. And uh, we've got a gold standard as well, and he's really produced some nice stock. Uh, so he's also his first yearlings at the sale, so a nice mixed bag. As usual, they're a smashing looking bunch. We're just going to chat about six because you've got quite a lot on, on the sale, so we don't have time to go through them all. But let's start with lot 34. Um, she's a filly by Erupt. Yes, Erupt filly here. Yeah, what, we, what we do like about Erupt, what we're seeing so far, is that he's throwing to a lot of the strengths of the female line. Uh, when you send him a scopey type of mare, that's the type of horse you get. When you send him a speedy type of mare, that's the type of horse you get. So we've sent, we've got two on this uh, draft, the one uh, from the happy, the happy sprinter family of ours, a quick forward looking filly. And this filly who's um, from Cat's Paw, who's a very, very good sprinter and she hasn't, she hasn't missed with her progeny yet. Culvery was a hundred plus rated sprinter. Celtic Voyage as a stakes winner who's raced by Green Street is on his way to Singapore. And Culgary was a good impressive winner of only a few starts as well down in PE. So the, the two year old now is with the Han Yansa van Furen called Car tell boss and he's going to run quite soon also very forward horse and this filly just looks like she presents she possesses quite a bit of speed she's going to prove in the in the latter part of this year being an october fall and i think she's going to follow the traits of the mare by being a, a nice nippy type of sprinting horse yeah she's a nice looker too lot 35 we spoke about gold standard uh, new stallion on the block i'm going to be excited to see him out yes and very happy with this product um i've seen a handful of gold standards and we don't have lots of them at the farm but we did um, take an interest in the horse and uh, obviously this mare being by Galileo uh, she was imported by the farm and Andrea sent her over and we did race her and she was a very facile winner of her maiden I think she won by six or seven lengths and uh, so she, she was, had a bit of ability 
and uh, this is a very good first product of hers being the first fall. It's a fantastic female line and this colt stands over really good ground like gold standard does and just really smart good moving horse and a, a very good product for the sire and first fall from the mare. So very very happy with them and it, you'd be a happy buyer taking this horse home. Yeah what I've seen of gold standard he's certainly a very good looking stallion. Lot 40, um, a Kawari colt. Yeah, this is a, a mare who's done nicely for us. She produced Kirari's very first group winner, Cosmic Light. And uh, what's exciting to come, I think, with this, uh, with this mare is that the horse Cosmic Highway, the Gimme the Green Light two-year-old who's owned by Kaya Stables and training with Dean Canamere, was a very, very impressive winner first time out. And I think probably the most impressive two-year-old we've seen in the Cape so far that hasn't run in feature races yet. He missed the break completely in a, in a field of fancied runners and he absolutely flew home to get up to win. Very smart looking horse who sold at the sale last year. And uh, this horse has good scope about him for a Karari. A very athletic, just high quality and a very good moving horse. I think he's probably going to be one of the, one of the leading sales candidates uh, for us in terms, of, in terms of price. Just very high quality horse and, and a natural, natural athlete. Yeah, another super looking horse. Um, lot 41, um, another erupt. Yeah, same female line. This is obviously out of that mare we, t we touched on, Cosmic Light, who was Kirari's first group winner. The first fall came to the si this sale last year and sold for 200000 by Flower Alley. Very scopy, leggy, staying type of horse who's now in training in Johannesburg and who's done really well. This erupt colt now is um, one, of the, one of the horses we've been using for all of erupt's ads. An outstanding product. He's been one of his leading weanlings, foals weanlings throughout, and I'm sure he'll be one of his, his leading yearlings. Really, really high quality horse. Very good hind leg, lovely set of ears on him, which I always love to look at on, on a yearling. Strong type of horse, and I think a, a very, very nice product for the sire. And of course, only the second foal of the mare. So it's a young mare. She was a very good race filly, and um, I'm very excited about this horse. Lot 61, um, a colt by Pomodora. Now, uh, Pomodora is something to get excited about at the moment as well. He is, and this is one for, uh, for the inbreeding pedigree guys. Uh, quite an interesting horse because he's um, obviously by a son of Jetmaster out of a daughter of Jetmaster. So some, some very close inbreeding to Jetmaster there. Obviously the, the female line of the, uh, of the horse speaks for itself and she was a mare that Main Chance purchased in foal to Pomodoro and this is the horse that was in utero and purchased. We're now presenting at the sale. A very late foal, 2nd of November, but when you see him, unbelievable specimen, lovely, lovely colt, uh, very smart, still immature, which is exciting because I think when, he, when he's a two-year-old, he's going to be a, an ultra, ultra impressive horse. So very interesting inbreeding, but the, the physical is phenomenal. And um, I think he's going to have a lot of fans at the sale. Yeah, being a late foal, a little bit of extra time for the sale has probably done him good as well. Absolutely. And I mean, he was, when I first saw these horses a couple of weeks ago as yearlings, he was already a, a really nice physical. So that little bit of extra time is going to do him great. And lot 102 uh, by Wiley Hall. Yeah, this horse, you know, he's obviously not not the most obvious horse, but I thought I'd add him on our little preview here because he's just the most outstanding physical. If, if I was pressured to give my pick of the horses on our draft as a, as a physical specimen, I'd pick him. He's a really unbelievable looking horse, strong, quick looking athlete, very well balanced, just a beautifully, beautifully conformed horse. Obviously Wiley Hall had his fertility problems and was retired. He had a, didn't have as much opportunity as stud as, um, as obviously the owners and, uh, and the farm that stood him would have liked. He was a little bit unlucky because he had Twilight Moon, who was a group winning two-year-old and his first crop got sold and exported to Hong Kong. He had another good two-year-old called De La Cruz who was sold overseas as well. And you know, he might have had a bit more runners um, at elite level on the track if that did not happen. But this colt, you know, for buyers that are looking to buy a nice horse, who's not by the most famous stallion who's going to sell for telephone numbers. You cannot go wrong with this horse. He's an absolutely beautiful specimen from a good female line and uh, only the third foal of the mare. Really, really nice colt and I think um, he would be a good buy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I must uh, compliment Main Chance once again on prepping a, a lovely draft. Um, really is fantastic. And then, of course, we've got the incentive of the Gold Rush uh, opportunity as well. Yeah, it's look, I mean, thanks. Obviously, um, Tim has been at the farm for a few years now and his drafts that he's producing at the Early sales are we very proud to take them through all the time because they look good and uh, we've obviously been building these female lines for a long time so we, we've got our set families and we're very proud of the products we take through 
And of course, with the gold rush, uh, we're looking at a limited number of horses on the sale. And um, if you're going to have 14 runners running, running for seven and a half million rand, if you can buy a quality horse at the sale, you've got a, a real, real good chance of, of getting into the mix for that race. And of course, in the unfortunate current stakes climate, we find ourselves in racing for pretty low prize money. When you've got a race of this nature on the table, I mean, it's a game changer. And there's been a lot of excitement, obviously, around it with the launch of it and the announcement of it. But similar to when we had the million dollar race. I think in the couple months prior to the race, that's when the excitement's really, really going to kick off. And then people are going to be either very happy that they're involved as slot holders or as horses with a, with a chance in the race, or a little bit sad that they didn't get involved at this time. So I know the slots are well prescribed at the moment, and um, I think it's a fantastic initiative. It's going to be great fun. Yeah, super incentive for people to buy. Anyway, uh, we look forward to seeing you out at uh, De Grendel on the 14th, Super Draft, and we hope you sell well. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks very much, Justin. Well, we wish Main Chance best of luck at the sale at De Grendel on the 14th. As I said, they've got a smashing draft going forward. And and uh, very, very well prepped indeed by Tim. And uh, thank you very much to Justin for taking the time to chat to us about them this morning. Arda's owner, David Hepburn Brown, has been raising thoroughbreds for over 20 years on this land. He has a small but select string of five yearlings on the sale. The beautiful Hemelin Arda stud out at Hermanus sent a smashing looking draft to the sale on the 14th of March. Lot 19 is a bay colt by Water Winter. He's called Aggressivo. He's an absolute replica of his sire, Water Winter, who needs no introduction. He is well balanced and has loads of substance. His two-year-old winning dam, Amatori, is a full sister to grade one leading sprinter, Pacific Trader. If you want a sprinter and an early type, you need look no further. Leading Sar Trippi has his first son at stud being Gold Standard, who is represented here by a smart, racy colt out of the Casey Tibbs mare, Borneo Bell. There have been a lot of compliments about the progeny of Gold Standard, and this colt will not let his sire down. Lot 32, a bay filly, this well-grown athletic water winter filly named Winter Magic is a very well-related full sister to three-year-old stakes-placed Trickster and a host of black-type half-sisters and brothers. She will be the one for the paddock and a definite to look at. Lot 75, a bay colt by Water Winter, out of a sale from Seattle Mare going my own way. He's called Wyag, which is an island in Indonesia. He is a scopy, athletic son of Water Winter, who is amongst the winners in every meeting. He is out of the well-related sale from Seattle Mare going my own way. Definitely one to look at, as there is lots to come from this individual. Lot 173, a bay filly by Captain of All out of a dynasty mare, Strawberry Shortcake. This unnamed Captain of All filly is a definite. She is bred on the same lines as stakes winner, Springs of Carmel. Being out of a dynasty mare, some of Captain Al's best crosses were with Fort Wood mares. This classy filly is well grown and deep and is a half sister to Cuda Tate, who has won and placed in his two starts. Her dam, Strawberry Shortcake, has a 100% strike rate with runners to winners. All in all, this is a very nice draft that Hemel and Arda team are proud of and will be waiting to show you in Block A in the front row. Danica Stud, champions of breeders such as King's Gambit and Kochka, 
have two very good looking individuals on the sale. Danica Stud sent one lovely colt to the sale. Lot 174, he's called Wonder World. He's a bay colt by Ideal World out of a Captain Elmer summer solstice. He walks well and really looks the part. He's certainly worth a look at stable A2 on the 14th. Connemara Stud is situated in the Western Cape on the slopes of Paderberg and are renowned for breeding quality racehorses. Let's take a look at their draft. Connemara Stud have four lovely looking individuals going to the sale and Lindy Garliki gave me these notes. As a group, these four are the nicest bunch we have taken to any sale ever. All are good-legged, well-grown, attractive and by proven sires. Barring the William Longsword, whose runners have just started their racing careers, he is already off the mark with a very impressive four-length winner this week. Our little stud has a current 40% winners to runners percentage, which is better than 9 out of 10 of the current top 10 studs on the NHRA statistics. Lot 29, Pinch Hit. This William Longsword Colt is the most powerful yearling we have ever raised. He has a huge back and is very broad. He should be speedy and come early. Lot 54, Winter Greeting. A very attractive, well-grown water winter filly out of a grade two sprint winning dam. She is a very smart filly who should turn heads. Water Winter is currently fourth on the Sires Log this season. Lot 72, Miss Lily. She is a quality master of my fate filly, classic type, well grown and scopy. She is physically the best yearling her dam, half sister to Emblem of Liberty, who won the Paddock Stakes Grade 1, has thrown to date. Master of my fate is leading the overall Sires Log at the moment. Lot 166, Coyote. A real eye catcher, big, scopy, attractive classic type. His half brother by Pathfork was an easy winner last time out and was placed twice before from four starts. His grade one placed stakes winning Grandam was one of a select few to beat champion national color. Kuari is currently fifth on the sires log. A beautiful draft from Connemara Stud, not to be missed on the 14th. Millstream Stud is situated just outside of Robertson in Bar Valley. This picturesque farm has only one yearling on the sale, a son of Global View. And to tell us more about this exciting individual is legendary golfer and breeder Gary Player. Our horse, Dave the King, is a very well-grown horse. He's strong. I love the way he walks. He's a great loose walker. Lovely eye, which I think is important. He's a handsome colt. The mare has had three horses to race. They're all winners. It's a family of black type winners. Fire Tread, Butterfly Girl, and Empress Crown. Normandy stud pride themselves on breeding sound horses that stand up to the rigours of racing. Owner Oscar Folks tells us more about the colt that will go under the hammer on Sunday the 14th of March. Normandy stud have got five going to the Cape Premier yearling sale and with me is Oscar Folks to have a chat about them. Morning Oscar. Okay. Firstly let's talk a little bit about the history of Normandy because it's a fantastic milestone for you. Yeah, 50 years of, of history, um, founded in 1971. And 
a lot of the original mares are the foundations of horses that we still are our top breed mares now. So yeah, it's, um, I think it's a rare privilege to have that much history to work with. Um, and I think it also says a lot probably for my mother's fortitude and making it through all these years because breeding is tough and a lot of other people, a lot of people have fallen by the wayside. But it also gives you a foundation to build on. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. And still churning out some very, very good horses. We've had a heartbreaking Cape summer season with Rio Karari just getting touched off in the Cape Flying Championship. Well, not quite getting there in the Cape Flying Championship. Um, Satchdev unfortunately had to abandon his met aspirations after picking up problems in running second in the Premier's Trophy. And I mean, in fact, that crop of four-year-olds, Rio Karari and Satchdev, the two close grade one seconds because Satchdev was also second in the Cape Derby. So um, anyway, we keep on fighting. Something to be very proud of. Well, let's have a, a chat about your draft because we've got lot 53. It's a lovely colt by Pomodora. Yes, so he's a half-brother to Depardieu, and that is from the Mother Russia Bravira Winter Solstice family. Um, he's really smart, very attractive, high quality. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with him. Yeah, something to get excited about. Uh, lovely family. And then you've got 93. Is, she's a filly by Water Winter. She's a full sustained blood to Sarah. Um, so. That's, again, the same um, family. And she looks speedy, very athletic. Um, I mean, I doubt she'll get much more than 1,200 meters, but if they're as good as Sarah, who, who worries about that? Absolutely. Lot uh, 130, another filly, and this one's by Kawari. Yeah, so in fact, this is one of three um, yearlings we have on the sale out of Silvana Emmaus. And she's uh, closely related to Principessa, the one in Jamaica. And also closely related to Pinnacle Peak, who's also like Ferrari out of that, that family. Um, she's scopy, athletic. Um, I think she's the kind of Ferrari that could get a mile plus. Um, but really, I love her. She's, she's, she's a super filly. I've seen the pictures, I've seen the videos. They look to be a lovely draft, uh, all going the right way and have prepped well. Yes, they have. So, you know, in previous years, we've had horses that, when you see them at, at this stage, you say, well, this is, has tick, 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 tick. It's going to make as a chance of making a million rand plus. We don't have any horses like that. We just, from a price perspective, I'm not expecting to go for telephone numbers, but every single one of them is a horse that I've got full confidence in that really, I think, I mean, if I say so myself, I think we've selected well for the sale. Yeah, it's great to have confidence going forward. Lot 179, another filly, um, she's by Ideal World. So it's the first foal of a filly we raced ourselves. Um, Tahini, who got so close to winning the Epitome, she was third in the um, Empress Club. And for a first, I mean, in fact, even for any number foal, she's a good size, she's robust, athletic, walks well. Um, and this is from the Entre Nou in Camera family that we introduced into the state in the 1970s. Um, so just a continuation of the same theme of finding quality and building on it. Yeah. And lot four is another Kawari filly. She is an absolute peach of a filly. Um, she looks like the speedy type of Karari. She's a full sister to Wonderwall, half sister to Westlife. Um, and again, moves really well. And I really, I, I don't know what more to say. I just love these horses. They're fantastic, I think. Yeah, well, a small draft, but they certainly look to ooze quality and uh, a very nice bunch to be selling. Yeah, we've selected carefully is all I can say is, um, you know, it's got so hard to, you just can't afford to make mistakes and having the wrong horse at the wrong sale. So we may still have made mistakes, um, but I don't think we've made mistakes with individuals. I mean, they, I've got so much confidence in what they can do on the racetrack. Yeah, well, the smashing videos and, and pictures have gone out already, so everyone can have a look. But uh, we will be seeing you in Block G and F at the sales. Great. Thanks very much, Oscar. Best of luck. Thanks, Lee. Lovely to have Oscar folks on the show. A beautiful draft going forward from Normandy. They really are beautifully bred and some good race records amongst them. So some quality amongst them, so be sure to go and see them in Block G and F at the sale. Richmond Highlands are firm believers in actively trying to improve South Africans' bloodlines and pedigrees with proven international pedigrees. They've consigned a beautiful draft for the sale with well-bred individuals.
Richmond Highlands have a large draft going to the Cape Premier Yearling Sale. 17 entries added to their lineup, so make sure you have the additional catalogue. They are certainly representing some top stallions and a quality draft. Plenty of opportunities to get your hands on a Camford Cliffs. He is pure class, a five-time Group 1 winner and sire of 28 black type winners, 324 winners globally. Let's take a look at some exciting lots on offer from Ridgemont Highlands. Lot 46, Crimson Wings, a Bay Philly by Rafif from an outstanding female line. She is a very athletic filly, a great mover and looks a very exciting filly for the future. Lot 52 is a bay colt by Give Me the Green Light. He is a powerful, great moving colt. He looks to be very quick. Lot 85, a colt by Rafif. He's a lovely, elegant colt. He stands over ground and looks a top-class sort. Lot 110 is an elegant Canford Cliffs filly, racy and correct. Lot 8, a Canford Cliffs Colt, first foal, a very good mover, an absolute athlete. He's out of a Gitano Hernando mare, who's that girl? Lot 9 is a good-looking, powerful son of Twice Over, a good mover with a good attitude. He's out of a Varmare Winter Passion. Lot 1A you will find in the additional catalogue she is a daughter of leading sire, master of my fate. She has a lovely walk and powerful hind quarter, an athletic filly. Forty seven A, a colt by dynasty, his last crop. He is a powerful, athletic cult. Thirty one B, a Canford Cliffs cult out of a high chaparral filly, Casadesus. He stands over ground and is a very athletic cult. Sixty three A, a magnificent son of Rafif, he stands over ground and really looks the business. He's out of a dynasty mare. Fifty 
58A, a son of Kenford Cliffs, out of an Antonius Pius mare, he is a very powerful colt and moves well. You will find this quality draft in blocks E and F at the sale. Best of luck to Ridgemont Highlands. Time now to take a look at our winning groom of the month, proudly brought to you by G Fox. Let's find out more about William Zego from Aventure Farm. William Kaku is our G Fox groom for February and he works out here at Aventure for Pippa Mukilbra and it's lovely to be chatting to him this morning. Well done William, you've thank won you. our February prize of the G Fox groom of the month. Yeah, let me say thanks first uh, to Mr. G Fox to give me this prize. Thank yeah. you very much. It's a fabulous prize and you're very worthy of it because Pippa tells me you've been with her for 29 years now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm 29 years, I started working in 1992, I think September. Yeah. And, and you do an awful lot here. You look yeah. after Oratoria, you do, uh, do a bit of everything. Things, stallions, Mary's, coverings, even the garden as well. I also and, and preparing for the sales as well? Yeah, we prepared everything. We prepared everything for the sales. It's a beautiful farm to work. And uh, of course, your wife works for Pippa as well. Yeah, also he works for her. Yeah, he works for her. Yeah, he works for her in the in the, in the um, keeping of the house. And Oratoria is a lovely stallion. Oratoria is a lovely stallion. Even far, yeah, even far also. And they're nice individuals to work with, nice temperament? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Everyone's very nice to work with them, yeah, no, everyone. Well, you do a fantastic job. Pippa speaks very highly of you. So uh, enjoy your, your work here at Aventure and uh, you, you very much deserve your lovely G Fox yeah, prize yeah. today. Yeah, I'm very, very enjoy this work, yeah. That's why it takes so long, the, that's why it takes so long time, yeah. Well, well done. I hope to see you in many years to come here yeah, at Aventure. Definitely, we hope so. I hope so. Thanks very much, okay, William. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. William, he's our very, very worthy winner of the February G Fox Groom of the Month Award. He's got his fabulous hamper of clothing, so thank you once again to G Fox. Um, the grooms are loving getting their winning prizes, and uh, yeah, William is definitely a worthy winner for February. Well, that's a wrap for this week's edition of Breeding to Win. Don't forget to join us next week for more Breeding to Win action as we continue to focus our attention on the up-and-coming CTSK Premier Yearling Sale. From myself, Julie Alexander, until next time, good night.